was a strong start. <laughs> I do feel cursed. That was extremely cursed. That was like a watching the ring videotape. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised we didn't get something at the end, like, you know, giving us instructions upon um, how not to die. Yeah, I'm gonna get a phone call right now saying you will die in seven days. How many days? Seven. Oh, I mean, I feel like this isn't the ring though. I feel like we could have like eight or 30 Oh, or we've got eight days now? Yeah. I think the biggest punishment is you will die at the end of 2020. And it's like, mm, just kill me now. Right? Mm -hmm. Why would I live to the end of that? God. Mm -hmm. The curse of Macbeth. Macbeth, Macbeth. Macbeth is known for being more than just a Shakespearean play. It has a bizarre and dangerous past that haunts it since its premiere back in the 1600s. Macbeth has certainly had its fair share of mishaps. Theater manager Lillian Bayliss died on the night of the dress rehearsal of the Old Vic's 1937 production starring Laurence Olivier. A falling stage weight just missed landing on Olivier. Then the director and the actress playing Lady Macbeth were involved in a car crash. I love this legend, it's so fun. The play's opening was postponed and on its first night, Bayliss's portrait fell off the theater wall. They used real weapons and one flew into the audience giving someone a heart attack. In 1942, three actors died during the run of Piccadilly Theater's version starring John Gilgut. The costume designer committed suicide. What? I actually know this and one of my teachers in Stratford actually they were putting on the performance of Macbeth, I think a couple years ago, <laughs> and uh, they read a passage from the Bible before they actually started doing the show, so it would kind of cancel out any creepy that would happen. <gasps> oh, oh, wait. Uh, did I see what I think I saw? Someone behind him when he got up? Mm -hmm. And then when he gets up... Someone... Right... There! <gasps> Ooh! Ooh -hoo 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 -hoo. That's creepy. It was like someone was sat down next to him, but they weren't. It was a spirit rising up right after him. That was scary. I didn't like the way it just stood up as well. It was like it was sat underneath him. Oh, you, you find me, I just stab somebody with an ice pick. I can't stop myself. I keep killing somebody. Oh, you find me. Don't talk to wow. the person. I'm sorry what I did to Compton. I couldn't help it. Don't know why I had to stab her. I am so upset about it. I keep getting drunk every day and I can't believe it. it's just a big dream. It's terrifying. Was that the same person as Both at the times. beginning? Yeah. It sounded so different. Right? I thought well, it was like a he was in woman. total panic the first time and yeah. he was in like absolute like disarray the second time. That's terrifying. Yeah, I thought it was a woman speaking on the phone at first. Mm -hmm. But no. It's just him. That's oh I pitch panic mode. That's horrible. Oh, it's oh, like like not that it's okay. Now there's anybody thinks if he keeps apologizing, like eventually, like He'll somebody get, will be like, it's fine. Yeah, don't worry, you're okay. You're not gonna go to prison. <sighs> That's probably exactly what he's thinking. Just because you apologize doesn't, doesn't mean you're it. not in trouble. You still did it. <sighs> That's heavy stuff for the first video. Yep. something bad was happening with with the head and the man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he was being restrained. I and think, yeah. I think the head was coming to have a little fun. A little fun. A little fun. Yikes. Mm -hmm. See, because that second part of the video, like I I didn't really, I couldn't, couldn't figure out what was going on. What's your interpretation? My interpretation is they get down and dirty with a head. Wow. I mean, she's got that long neck. <laughs> You know, Bobby Shmurda, you know. <laughs> I could say a lot right Shoddy give me neck until I pass out. And that might be the case. <laughs> yep, yep. There's a lot I could say, but I won't say because I think that would make this video demonetized. <laughs>
the curse of the Polish king's tomb. In 1973, a group of archaeologists opened the tomb of the 15th century Polish king Casimir IV, Jagi Gelin, in Krakow, Poland. As with the opening of King Tut's tomb 50 years before, European media hyped up the event and the researchers involved allegedly joked that they were just risking a curse on the tomb by opening it. When some of the team members began to die shortly after, some media outlets speculated it was due to a curse. <laughs> of course it was. Of, cur of course it was. Oh, f that, f that, f that. We can see something peeking out into the spotlight. Yeah, no. It sh appears to be a person's head, but we don't quite get a good enough look at who or what that was to say for sure. It just looks like a black mass. It doesn't even look like a person. I can't make out a shape or a face. It just looks like a black form shifting. Why are you even taking the time to stop and film that? If I saw that emerging from behind a tree, yeet out of there. I don't know how to explain the following video. I was trying to film what at the time I thought was an animal in my house. I can't tell whether what I recorded was human, alien, or something else. I did in fact contact the police saying there was an intruder in my home, but no evidence of a break-in was apparent. Please help me identify this creature. Okie dokie. Oh, I did that in good time. Uh -uh. Oh! Holy <laughs> Identify that creature, that is a demon! That is a demon. <laughs> Get out! Go! Oh my god, it stands up. It's so tall. Like yeah. I saw it at first, I'm like, oh, real goblin sighting. Oh, yeah. Nope. <laughs> Not a goblin. That at first I was like, that's clearly a person, you idiot. But no, that is a demon slash alien slash rake. And there's two of them. Was there two? Yeah, only one stood up, but there was two eye oh. light sets of eyeballs. Hold on, bring us Please, back. Please, one more time. Bring us I, back. I saw one person. Perfect. Oh yeah, to the left. I see the eyes. They're one, just... two, one. Two. Yeah. Oh yeah. They're Only one a... stands up though. Oh, the other's hiding in wait. The other one's the, the, the first one stands up to intimidate you. The Ugh. other one comes scurrying in and you know eats yeah. your guts while you're not looking. Exactly. <laughs> they're just having a bath together, and a they were bath? rudely interrupted. They're having a bath together. <laughs> you're right. That. Even though I know it doesn't make any sense, whenever I see something like that where somebody's got like a camera and they're behind a wall and they're like peering around it, like I'm like, if I lean out this way a little more, like yeah. I'll see around that yeah, corner and I won't. It. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> demon girl. That, was, that really took me off guard. I thought he was gonna go in and something was just in there or there'd be a loud noise like, up, but yeah. no, just a demon girl. Truly cursed. The screaming Skull. The Burton Agnes Hall in Burton Agnes, England is home to a creepy paranormal object called the Screaming Skull. The Screaming Skull is believed to be of Catherine Ann Griffin, who died in the same house after being attacked by bullies in 1620, though I actually believe it was robbers. Every night, a terrifying ghost is seen roaming around the skull, making tremendous noises and scaring out everyone who tried to remove the skull from the house. I actually know about this one too, and her, she asked her sisters to put her skull in the house so that she could always be with it, and then they didn't, and then all hell broke loose, so keep that skull there. CCTV camera is recording me. Oh! Okay, that was a lot of a lot. I didn't scream, but it was a lot of a lot. The guy was on his little motorbike, and there was a, a ghostly figure in the road, disappeared, then came back to try and kill him. To try and yeet him. <laughs> oh, he shouldn't have even stopped. Just go right through her. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. No, he shouldn't have stopped. He should have just kept going as soon as it disappeared. Oh. oh! Oh! Creepy creep in the basement. Down the stairs. Creepy creep down the stairs. Creepy creep underground. 
Do you think that was one of the creatures that that other person saw in their house? So the eyes certainly look the same. The eyes look like it, and I mean, we don't know if it's standing up or not, but what if, like, it's crouching right now, and if it wanted to, it could stand up and be, like, right at the level. It would stick its head the through the gap. Yeah. Be like, hello. Just poke out, look around. Okay, so I just found this bug in my rug. <laughs> and it's right here, so. I grabbed some gloves and I just want to rake my hands. Oh, I've so seen this. Oh my gosh, if there's any more in here, I'm going to lose my mind. So I'm just going to do this real quick. Here we go. <laughs> I'd seen that video on TikTok and the first time I saw it, it f***ed me right up because I thought it was real. And then I had to watch it again to be like, whew, it's fake. Yeah. Whew, that's, that's terrifying. That's just like a, that's a hot start when she says <laughs> bug in my rug. Like that's a bar. I love that that got you. Like, I didn't expect you to laugh. <laughs> you said it was such a plum, you know? She's like, I just found this bug in my rug. You know? With a slug. It's supposed to be scary. Yes. I was terrified when she started rubbing her carpet like a good pet dog. Yeah. And then all these bugs. Falling That's out gross. Of Imagine screamed. doing that. Ooh, no. That's why you don't own a rug. Rugs are for... Bugs. Bugs. Yeah, exactly. You should throw out your rug right now. Yeah. Throw out your rug and give your mama a hug. <laughs> Are you done? Anything else? <laughs> uh, nothing appropriate. Okay, we'll keep great. Keep going. Excellent. The Annabelle doll. The discovery of this doll dates back to the 1970s when a mother bought it from an antique shop as a birthday gift for her daughter. Soon the family noticed strange things happening inside the house related to the doll. The family then called for the help of renowned psychic investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren who found that the doll possesses the spirit of a 7 year old girl named Annabelle Higgins who was brutally murdered. The doll is now in the Occult Museum, Connecticut. And it's creepy. Never buy a doll for your kid. It's probably haunted. Just saying. The eyes. I don't like the eyes. It's a creepy video already. Ooh. Ooh. How is he not awake at this point? Oh my god. How's his friend not awake? That is horrible. That's like paranormal activity sh where the covers slowly come up and then your legs start slowly moving and then you're out of the bed, you're down the hallway and you're in hell. That's how that ends. That guy's lucky he woke up. But he's lucky that it stopped. He could have been, bye, see you later. Ooh. Do you think this is a case of possession or mental health? Because I don't like the way his body's moving. It makes me think something. I mean, is possession real or not? That's you to decide. But this feels like one of those possession videos that they record during an exorcism. Mm -hmm. It does. The yeah. clinical feel also makes me feel like it could be some sort of experiment. Like they've yeah. given this man something. <clears throat> Excuse me. They've given this man something like yeah. an experimental drug or like you know, they're performing all sorts of, uh, you know, tasks to maybe make his psyche become damaged. No, I think you're onto something. Mm -hmm. There definitely is, uh, some doctors played around with this man for sure. Yeah. Injected something. Okay. He's got them denture tricks. So confused as to what is happening. Is she just like chewing on her mouth? No, she's got so she's she's got dentures in and she's popped out at the top of the bottom and is like flipping it around in her mouth. Oh, that's it's like she's just doing this. Yeah, but like with like teeth. I like when my teeth stay in. I mean, my I'm mouth. sure I'm sure she did too when she was your age. 
Oh, you know what's a scary fact and it still haunts me to this day because it could happen at any moment. My dentist, when I was growing up, she said, I've got really short roots on my two front teeth. And she said, by the time you're about 22, they may fall out and you'll need fake teeth or implants because I have implants. And um, I'm now 27, turning 28 in a few months, waiting for these teeth to drop. Just to drop, eh? Just <laughs> like one day you'll you'll smile big and they'll fall out like, uh, and make piano noises like oh. in the cartoons. Yeah, like, yeah. or they, they fall out when I'm sleeping. I'll never even know because I'll just choke, so. The Hope Diamond Curse. The Hope Diamond is one of the most famous jewels in the world with ownership records dating back almost four centuries. It's a much admired rare blue color is due to trace amounts of boron atoms. Weighing 45 carats, its exceptional size has revealed new findings about the formation of diamonds. In 1666, Jean Baptiste Tavernier stole 115.16 carat blue diamond eye from a statue of the Hindu goddess Sita. Devotees of the temple were far from impressed. In retaliation, they placed a curse on whoever possessed the gem, supposedly launching a series of unfortunate events that would impress Lemony Snicket. Thank you for going there. Named the Tavernier Bleu, the diamond was later recut, birthing numerous other jewels, including the infamous Hope Diamond. Still want to wear it though. Still want it. Looks like the diamond that Rose lost on the Titanic. Oh my god, what's happening? <gasps> oh my god. Oh, just drive, just drive. Is that a mermaid? What, no, what is that? Just drive, just drive, reverse. Oh my god, it's gonna start running. What is that? Oh, it looks kind of like that, um... Is it a creepypasta or the urban legend, the Teki Teki? Where she's just on her hands and she's got no lower body she's just torso arms and then she moves like that that's what that looks like at the end i can't make out the lower half of the body it looked like a mermaid at first that why is he even stopping reverse move go speed away <laughs> Izul, is that a demon? Well, I know. Is that a jinn? Jinn is, right? Jinn yeah. is a. A jinn is a, like a, a spirit, or yeah. it could be considered a demon, depending. I feel like some are mischievous and some are like outright like evil. Yeah, this is definitely a possession video. Oh yeah, possessed by many things. That's many something you don't see too often in these. Eh? Like I feel like people like so closely associate like possessions with like Christianity and Catholicism. Always. Like they, they, not often do they bring like Muslim uh, possessions in. I, it's rare that I see. A lot of possession cases from other places other than the United States. Ah! I hate that gut control thing. Like, a lot of people have it, more people than you think. Like, they can just, apparently you can train yourself to do this stuff. I have no idea how, because like, where are his organs going? Like. Yeah, he must be moving them around. It's gotta be. He's gotta be like, like, like somehow, like, compelling them to move backwards in him. Well, maybe he's got no organs. He's an empty vessel. I wouldn't be surprised. Mm -hmm. If you're that flexible, your innards can't be that important to your functioning. Exactly. For the curse of Tippecanoe, in the mid 20th century, US media began to note a pattern in presidential deaths. Starting with William Henry Harrison and ending with John F. Kennedy, every 20 years the country elected a president who would die in office. In the 1930s, Ripley's Believe It or Not claimed the pattern was due to the curse of Shawnee Chief Tecumseh placed on Harrison and future presidents after Harrison's troops defeated Tecumseh at the Battle of Tippecanoe in 1811. Ooh, okay, well, you know. Fair enough. They were awful to them. So weird. Okay, when he turns around. Right there, there's someone there, there's someone there. It looks like the grudge. 
It looks like the garage. These are why. One of the objects. Urban explorers, they really, they're risking their lives for, for us, for entertainment. I could never go urban exploring. I'd think I would die. I wouldn't have, my heart would be beating as soon as I walked into an abandoned building. I can't, I don't want to go anywhere abandoned or anywhere during night time or just anywhere really. I just like to stay inside in my own home. Oh. Glitching in real life. What the hell? You know what this reminds me of? What's that? It's it's like his brain just short circuited and we're witnessing it happen and it reminds me of that scene in Stepford Wives. <laughs> I've seen Stepford Wives. You've never seen the Step Stepford Wives is great. I, I feel like really and truly like uh, like a brain short circuiting like to me that sounds a little bit like a seizure. Like I feel like this man's yeah. just having like a seizure. Seizure it's or it's not like, like demonic kind of possession aneurysm. or something. It's just like he's yeah, like something's he's... happened to his brain for sure. That was it. I knew it. I knew it. I didn't even, I've never seen this video before and I knew that's what was happening. I hate that. Ugh. Just some sort of infestation. I don't like infestations. I don't want to live in an infestation. If I had an infestation, I would move. I wouldn't even get someone to fix that, I'd just move. In my opinion, Lucy, and you know, you can, you can take this or leave this, but I think you are the infestation. Wherever you go is infested. <laughs> That's a compliment. Thank you. <laughs> I don't have to worry about it because I am the infestation. It's true. The anguished man painting. And I also was just writing about this one, so let's try and find the video. Fascinated by the charm of the anguished man painting, Sean Robinson inherited the painting from his grandmother and decided to hang the painting on the wall of his house. Soon after that, Sean and his family started experiencing paranormal events like cracking of the doors in the middle of the night and sudden blood curdling screams from nowhere. Sean's wife decided to investigate the origin of the painting and found that the artist who painted the painting committed suicide and before doing that he mixed his own blood with the paint that he used in making the painting. Learning this, the couple decided to hide the painting in the basement of their house in Cumbria. Ew. So, ew. Gross. What am I looking at? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Are they just frozen? Huh? What's happened? Did they just like, it felt like they just left this dimension and just went to an alternate dimension. The two people from Waikato were walking towards us and then they froze and then they just disappeared into nowhere. What the hell happened there? That was a really confusing video. It doesn't make any sense to me. All I know is there was one guy that was walking up to them and was like, hello, and they were just like. Oh, damn. Oh my God. Isn't this just another seizure? It also feels like that. I think there's like a long history of people confusing seizures with the like, possession. you know, possession. Yeah. That's a thing. And I mean, back in the day that made sense. Doesn't make sense anymore. No. Instead of you having a seizure, you don't say out Satan, you say, oh my gosh. Get like, the doctor. Put a pillow under his head. Yeah. <laughs> like. Exactly. That's the problem is like a lot of people that die of uh, going through exorcisms. It's like there's always something, it's, there's a mental health reason or a medical reason as to why they're going through it. Sorry to debunk it, you uh, believers in the possession, but it's not real. Oh. I liked this part. Yeah, that was 
That was nice. That was especially nasty because of whatever filter is on this video and the tongue like looked like it was changing colors as it was doing it. See, you didn't like it. I liked it. I could watch you it like again. It? You want to watch it again? Yeah, Run please. it back, Chris. It makes me feel good. <laughs> It's like, it's lips go so far but out to reveal gum. more gum, right? That makes me uncomfortable when the lips go so far and you see everything. It's yeah. like, mm. I can't really go up that high. This is as high as I can go. This is how high as I can go. Yeah, that was, I don't know, like it just, there was like a shifty feel to that. It just felt like everything was shifting in a way that it shouldn't be. Yeah, that was strange. I want to see what they look like in real life. That is what they look like in real life. Oh, apologies. Come on. Beautiful. These are curse videos. Mm -hmm. It's a real curse. I'd slide into the DMs. King Tut's curse. The curse of the pharaohs or the mummy's curse is a curse alleged to be cast upon anyone who disturbs the mummy of an ancient Egyptian, especially a pharaoh. This curse, which does not differentiate between thieves and archaeologists, is claimed to cause bad luck, illness, or death. In February 1923, a British archaeological team opened the tomb of Tutankhamun, or King Tut, an Egyptian pharaoh during the 14th century BC. Two months later, when the team's sponsor died from a bacterial infection, British newspapers claimed without evidence that he died because of King Tut's curse. Ooh, spooky. Immediately to the left of the desk, a small dark figure seems to appear out of thin air. Yeah. It, it walks looks past the desk and out of the, real view life of the camera. Real-life goblin sighting. Keegan if would be so happy. If you slow the footage happy. down, you can see that the figure also appears to be somewhat transparent. It looks like Dobby or a goblin. Looks like Dobby the free elf. He's a free elf. He's got his sock. He's on the move. He's leaving. He doesn't need to stay anymore. He's got Harry's dirty sock. In early 2012, an amateur photographer recorded the grainy footage of a snake-like creature swimming in Icelandic glacial river. Oh! Video has Can you pr pronounce the word? The Lagarfjot. Oh, oh, thank God it's gone. Sightings of the creature <laughs> have been logged since 1345. It is described longer than a bus. They had buses in 1395? Whoa, apparently. That's groundbreaking. I wish they told us Iceland was living the dream. <laughs> that long changes before. everything. Bjork was on the bus long before us. Lucy was riding the bus. Lucy the ape. Me! I was on the bus. Hell yeah. That, uh, yeah, it kind of does look like a giant snake. It but... reminds me of Mongolian death worms. Oh, you know? yes. Like, yes. it's like in the same genre as that. Although those aren't necessarily larger than a bus, are they? No, I thought they were quite small. Yeah, they were like, but they were electric. Yeah, I just hate the way they look. It makes me feel ill. Three heads? I have no idea. At first I thought I saw a head over there, mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. And then I couldn't tell what the second thing was. It looked like a little baby dragon. Yeah, it looked a little bit like uh, King Ghidorah. Maybe any time there is a storm, there's just it's just a way to disguise creatures that fly. I wouldn't be surprised. It makes the most sense. The Billy Goat Curse on the Chicago Cubs, okay. The curse of the Billy Goat was a sports related curse that was supposedly placed on the Chicago Cubs, a major league baseball franchise in 1945 by Billy Goat Tavern owner William Cianis. The curse lasted 71 years from 1945 to 2016. His pet goat, named Murphy, was bothering other fans. Cianis was asked to leave Wrigley Field, the Cubs home ballpark, during game four of the 1945 World Series. Outraged, Cianis allegedly declared, them Cubs, they ain't gonna win no more. Which had been interpreted to mean that the Cubs would never win another National League pennant, at least for the remainder of Cianis' life. Sports. Ooh. As the car speeds along, a haggard woman in a <laughs> white dress can be seen on top of the barrier divide. <laughs> The guy didn't go, he went hard. She has hard. a grey, ghostly face and long black hair. All too common features of the supernatural entity known as the Lady in White. I like that we can't even really make out her face, but he went hard. 
right off the bat, who's like, you can see this haggard woman in the middle of the road. You can't even see her face. I don't think she's haggard. She looks all right to me. <laughs> Wouldn't say no. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. I'll get yelled at. <laughs> That's scary. That's scary. She clearly died in that road. 100%. Car, her, dead. Now she haunts the road and tries to lure innocent victims to their death. That's how it goes all the time. If I died in a tragic way, you know I would lure other people to their death in the same way. This video is from Japan! <laughs> oh yeah. In this video, a ghostly face staring the man from behind. Oh yeah. I, Ooh. I mean, I guess, yeah. I mean, it could be anyone. It could just be a creepy creep in the corner. Right? Probably. Like, this could be just like a prank show and we yeah. missed the prank. Because I also want to know why the hell they're filming him in the first place eating his ramen. Yeah, well, like, it feels like it's like a cooking show or something. Like, he's wearing oh. that white shirt that makes me think he's like some sort of like kitchen staff. Truth, perhaps. Maybe there's just someone who didn't want to quite be on camera, but they were like, I want to be involved, but yeah. I don't want to be filmed, so I'm just going to creep around the corner. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Is it like, like I, I know I shouldn't, but that screaming was kind of humorous to me. It, yeah, I agree. Like it's it was, like, it was no, a little too much. It was a little too much, I would say. It's like the voices I hear when I go to sleep at night. That's just, the sounds in my head 24 hours a day. It just sounds like one of those like crazy, like deep fried, like bass boost <laughs> where somebody like stubs their toe and like you hear like yeah. the, the vine noise and then a fart noise and then like somebody's yellow, but like, like True. really like bass boosted. That's what it reminded me of. Cursed Mirror. Myrtle's Plantation in Louisiana, USA is said to be one of the most haunted places in the world. However, the most spooky item in the house is a mirror. Locals claim that the mirror is cursed and has the spirits of Sarah Woodruff and her two children who were poisoned by their slave Chloe trapped inside it. I know this story. Wow, I love when everything comes together. A few moments into the clip, two shadowy black shapes pass in front of the camera. Yeah, no That's it. The way the figures seem to glide certainly has some viewers wondering if they could actually be ghosts of former soldiers oh. still lingering around the battlefield. Interesting. I couldn't tell if the noise when the shadows went by went by with the shadows or like a wind outside, but it sounded like when someone moves really fast. Just like that. Dead soldiers. It is what it is. That's creepy. I don't like those. I feel like only houses in America have these. I, in the UK, we don't have this. Like, I don't know what it is. It's like under the home. A crawl space under the house. I don't understand why you have it or what's it for. The people always are under it and it freaks me out. Oh, did you see the get the ghost get in the car with him? The ghost got in the car with yeah, him. Yeah, did you see it? Is there gonna be a slow mo? Yeah, probably. There is. Okay. I was just wondering how the door opened on its own so quickly. Yeah. Well, is oh, the person yeah. behind him? It's like the Grudge. Oh. And then she just got in the car. That's someone's mother. That's someone's <laughs> mother. And she's using the motherly tactic of sneaking in with another person to save some money. Exactly. Respect. Respect. Like she's she's honed that skill for years. That's the most cursed shit I've ever seen. Yeah, that's that's like Syriac come to life. I like it because not much is happening. It's just like it's someone's just walked downstairs and found this found this pulsating, pulsating thing, yeah. this Lovecraftian. Not I, I, I don't know. I can't call it a behemoth. It's not big, but this Lovecraftian creature. It's disgusting. I just hate all the different size arms. Yeah, like, and the fact that they very... pulsate like in tandem, yeah. and it's like it's all together, even though they are different sizes and attached to different places. Imagine if we had more than two arms. That'd be kind of cool. I want to see what that looks like, editors. Can you give me more than two arms? Is that possible? You punch or are people you... extra fast. Are you gonna hate us if we do this? I think they already hate me. I think. I think. Yeah. Today is probably not a great day to ask them for extra favors. <laughs> Oh, I see it. Taken in. Uh, the story claims that Mrs. Mabel Chinnery was visiting the grave of her mother. She brought camera with herself, taking a photograph of her mother's gravestone. Wait, what year did it say? She had a camera? 
earlier. She then took this photo of her husband who was waiting alone in the car. Oh, I see it. It looks like a, one of the things from They Live. Mm. When you put the glasses on. Yeah. Yeah. That's creepy. But that's her mother? Your mother did not look like that. That's not her mother. Oh, that's she, she said that she her recognized mother? her mother in the photo. Wait, you're, come on. Like your dead That's, mother? Like your mother that is buried? This looks like your like decomposing an, corpse mother? This looks like an old man in a suit. Right? Yeah. It looks like a fleshless person with big beady white eyes. Yeah. Exactly. So you're wrong, actually. I know what your mother looks like, and it's not that. I won't give you the combination. Excuse me. That's some real cush. That's some wild stuff right there. Oh my god. I, I actually, you know what, I love it. I, I think that was great. I found it oddly uh, seductive. A little bit, right? Yeah. The eyes Did you were feel just, it? It had like some yeah. like some come hither eyes, yeah, you know? Yeah, definitely. Because it was staring us down, talking about not giving us the combination it to also its heart. already naked. It was definitely naked. Yeah. Lord Combermere. This, this photograph was taken in 1891 in the Combermere Abbey Library. I don't know what accent I'm doing. No, I don't know. Do and you look closer, you can clearly see a ghostly figure sitting in a chair to the left that is said to be the ghost of, oh. <gasps> we didn't get to see the end. The ghost of who? The ghost of Lord Hubawa. I Combermere. see him, look. Yeah, I see That's a ghost. That's Lord Combermere. 100%. That's him in the He's flesh. hanging out. That's actually his mother. Um, he recognized his mother there. <laughs> Everyone, everyone's a mother at this point. Everyone's a mom. Ooh. That. I'm deaf now. I'm deaf. How did you keep your headphones in? I was blasting. Can you what? hear me? Huh? <laughs> Can you hear me? What? Exactly. That was some f***ed up shit. I thought it was a, uh, like a trumpet at first or something. I... how... what? I don't know. The, the, when, when, when the noise kicked in, I thought it was like part of a song. That was like was. noises straight from hell. Yeah, that was. Something. I wouldn't be surprised. I also want to know what it says, but it was in a different language. Yeah, well, it, was, it was numerical code and then Russian. Someone let us know. So somebody Whoever's let us, yeah, translate that, Russian. and we can solve this mystery together. Taken in 1919, yeah. this photo shows a group portrait of Goddard Squadron, which had served in World War One at the HM. Oh. They if we take a closer look, we can clearly see an extra face appearing in this photo. Is it the mother? Oh, it's... You, Wait, it, That's a mom. Do you see, okay, so do you see the close-up beside it? Oh. You're gonna see there's a face behind oh, his face. Oh, I see. Oh, creepy. That's definitely just an early camera goofing so be, up. face Freddie Jackson. I mean, all, everyone's face looked the same back then, let's yeah. be real. Like, there was like a certain type of dude in the military and they all looked like that they guy. They all have the same face. Yeah. And it's probably like the camera glitch. Yeah, it was, just like, it was definitely like, they were supposed to sit still and this guy was like, oop, oops, yeah. whoops. He moved, yeah. Back in the day, you couldn't move when a photo was being taken. He probably moved, bro. he f the picture, and now everyone's like, it's a ghost. It's a ghost! Whoa. No, you just don't understand how cameras work. <laughs> 1919, you didn't understand how a camera worked? Idiots! Exactly. Oh. Get on the bus and go home, you fool. <laughs> Hop on the giant snake and ride it away. <laughs>